hi guys, VST here, Venex Peace Tech, welcome back on my channel. Yet another beta for the One Way 3.0 beta for Samsung S20. I'm running here the Snapdragon version, but I can feel that One Way 3 is really coming closer and closer. I mean, uh, the stable update. So guys, when you go down here in the settings, you get a software update. I always say that if you get the red M, it means you have a new update. So let me try to download that one. We see here we have an update with the number version Z TKD, 275 megabytes of size, and they say security patch level November 1st. Some of the other devices, I think, already got the December patch. For some reasons, I'm not able to get any met messages and notification on that one, but I was able to find here the change log. So apparently even this has been pushed as the fourth update for the One UI 2.0, and even as the fifth update in some countries, so for the better users. Now, in my case, it's gonna be update number five, ZTKD. Yeah, okay, not really a lot of things fixed, right? And there are no specific things mentioned here, but apparently some things has been improved. Again, device stability improvements, bug fixes, that's kind of like the standard stuff, right? And people really are testing this already. Once I deploy this update, we're gonna be checking also the animation and see if there are any new things. I've been reading in some forums here on Reddit that apparently this update really improves the performance and the camera and security of the device improved. So we can potentially try the cities gonna do some photos and just check. People are even saying that apparently the focus has been massively optimized. So there is this user here reporting that he doesn't really see any lags while switching between photo and video. This we can test. Focus have massively been optimized for the quality. Not sure right now, but it, he says that uh, the whole system feels like butter smooth and no mini stutters. And this was kind of my feeling overall with the One UI 3.0. My experience was always like this. Again, battery, it's really too early, so we need to, a bit more days to test it. Okay, let's see what happens with the update, guys. And what a surprise, guys. Once I actually rebooted the phone, I immediately got a new version. So this is probably right now the sixth update I'm getting for the One UI 3.0 beta is this time the ZT. KE, right? So again, still running the November security patch, but let's install that one and we're gonna see how the phone behaves, how the animations are. We're gonna try in landscape because I know a lot of you have been asking this. And then let's see if there are any new things. Hey, hey and we are back now with the version ZT. KE. I'm reading that some of the guys out there apparently are also getting the ZT KF, which apparently has the December security patch. So that's not the case here with me. I am now stuck on the ZTKE, which I think is now the sixth update of the One UI 2.0 beta. So it's a sixth update security patch from November. So guys, let me just see and um, test all the animation with you. Okay, we're gonna start first from the lock screen. So just, okay, see how this works, okay? Very nice, you see the ring here for the face unlock. Okay, this is quite okay. Let's just try to unlock the phone. Very smooth, let's just try to do it again. Okay, very smooth again. All right, let's just first thing we wanna test is let's just open an application and see what happens when we kind of minimize it. So let's close it, let's open it. Okay, open again, close again, open again, close again. Let's try to do this also into this um, landscape mode because I know that a lot of people are asking. So let's open the same one, close it. Okay, you see it's close. Okay, let's open the Play Store. Okay, close the Play Store. All right, it's really, really very smooth. And by the way, for my personal preference it's kind of a little bit too slow but i can tell the experience is and uh, maybe i'm gonna get um, blasted for this but the experience really is like uh feels a little bit like using an iphone so smooth indeed really very very smooth okay so you see opening the, another application going here from the landscape through horizontal mode right okay let's see yeah yeah it's not a problem it does do this very, very nice and fast, okay? People were saying that apparently some of the camera functions are optimized. So let's just go and shoot a picture, guys. I'm just gonna open the camera here, all right? Okay, let's see. They said that the focus apparently is better. Hmm. Okay, use food mode, <laughs> okay. Trying to do the best shot, okay, let's see. I mean, it's still Samsung, right? So we know it kind of delivers outstanding pictures. Yeah, I'm not sure really what thing about that one. Let's do some more, let's put some more color thing here in the frame, all right. There was a problem with the Samsung phone. You see that they cannot really go too close with focusing, uh, but apparently, apparently right now, they're doing not, I would say, a bad job. So yeah, 
I mean, the details really are, it's very nice, right? So we can see the details look very nice. I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but it's absolutely realistic. Where I saw it, just check also, people are saying that when you go from a video and, and you know, from, oh, you see, the gallery is very smooth, okay? Opening a video, you know, playing a video, okay, going back. I really don't have anything else to say. I mean, it really works quite fantastic. Okay, let's just see here, guys. Let's just test the task manager, okay? Opening now the task manager. Well, it's really very fast. Let's close all. I think all the opening and the closing animations apparently are now optimized. All right, notices. Everything, guys, here seems to be quite okay. Keep waiting. I think we're not really far away from getting a stable update, guys. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have any specific questions, ask me in the comments down below, and I'll be happy to answer them or even do a specific video if you have requests for tests. So, have a very nice rest of your days or night, and we're gonna catch up in the next video. VST over and bye.